Hey everyone, and welcome back to another Cloister of Trials video. This time, we're looking at the Trials of Jose Temple. Now, although this place doesn't have that many rooms, it's got about four in total, including this small area I'm in now. Although it only has four rooms, there is a bit more to do in this one than there was in Kilika. So... Bear with me for a while. Okay, the first thing we need to do is, if you see these two spheres on either side of the wall, is the first thing we need to do is take each of them out. Don't put it back, Titus. And put both of them into this door here. Now, you are going to lose both of these spheres doing this, but that's fine. We can easily deal without them for now. Oh, for God's sake. There we go. Yeah, we can use to replace them, so don't worry about that. Okay, now, our main job here in this temple is to completely light up this entire symbol on the floor here. At the moment, two parts are already lit up, but there are three more. There is the left side over here, the right side over here, and you can't quite see it because it's hidden by the pedestal, but there is the central area of this eye section here. All right, the first step we need to do is to remove both of these spheres, the one from here and the one that's over on the left, and bring both of them over to the right side of this area to fill both of those holes. Now this will, as you see there, unfortunately darken one area of the symbol, but that's fine. We can light that back up later. Right, what that does is that will charge that pedestal up there. So what we've got to do now if Titus, there we go, is push this pedestal all the way across to the right. To that small circle just underneath it. A bit more, obviously. Right, what that's done is that has charged up that sphere. You see, it's glowing a bit brighter than usual. What we're going to do is we're going to pull it into the right hand side so it will open up that door now this opens a pathway that you need to get through to light up the eye section of the symbol however as you can see it's currently filled with lightning which makes it a little bit impassable because Titus can't fly so what we've got to do now, is put both of these spheres back into this pedestal. I told you this is going to take a while. Okay, once you've done that, rather than push it all the way back to the center, you can just run over here to the left hand side, step on this glowing switch, which as you know from past temples, resets the pedestal. Now, you push it forward into the lightning room. Then a tiny bit of magic happens. Where the pedestal will eventually settle down, and then you can use that as a jumping platform. Now, for some reason... Oh, it worked first time that time. Normally when you get there, you have to like, just go left and right sometimes before it works, but never mind. When you get to the other side, just push the pedal straw into the wall. Then that's the centre of the eye lit up. You can now just go back across the jumping platform into the main room. Next, you need to re-summon the pedal stool again. Remove the charged sphere from this side. And then take it back over to the left and pull it in there. That's now the eye section complete. 
Although we're still missing the left and right parts. So what we have to do is take both of the spheres from the pedestal, one at a time, unfortunately. Come all, all the way back down to the starting area. And then put both spheres into the empty recesses. This will complete the symbol and turn that pedestal into a lift, which will take you up to the upper tier. And the final area of this temple. I will never understand why it's not possible to carry two spheres at once. I mean, Titus has got two hands last time I checked. Right, now what you want to do is walk up to the symbol and you'll be transported upwards. We're not quite done here in the bottom though. We'll be coming back here in a bit. Now you head up and you'll see that there are three pedestals in front of you and there is one over on this side that you can't quite see and a fifth one over here. What you've got to do is you have to push all five of them into their respective alcoves. So I'm going to skip ahead slightly. Oh, if only there was a faster way of doing this. Okay, last pedestal. Right. This will do two things. It will make a new pedestal appear and it will open the way to the Chamber of the Faith. But going up the stairs now will end the temple and you will miss the secret item. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to go back downstairs and on the left hand side where the glowing switch is, on the wall there you'll see a glowing glyph just flickering in and out. You want to go up to it and touch it. And inside this room is the destruction sphere. Go ahead and take it and and then head back to the lift to go back up. Now there's only one place in this room where we can put the destruction sphere and that's in the pedestal. So go ahead and do just that. And there's your secret item. Yes. And there is your secret item. Number three of six. And now that's that. And now that that's done, you can head up the stairs to the Chamber of the Faith. And that's Jose Temple. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.